Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. Coach Conquest leading the team. I would say in untraveled waters, but right now that's not the case. It is unnecessary because we really don't know where the road will go. We're third place in the conference. We're seventh in the nation. And this week we play the two and three UCLA Bruins. So hopefully a little bounce back game. We had two top 10 matchups, losing one to USC and then defeating Oregon last week. A lot of things have to happen for us to get another shot at the title game. Remember, this is not revamped, so only the top two teams get a chance to go. Without further ado, though, let's get to the game and see if we can put up some points on the Bruins. All right, it's a bright, sunshiny day here in California. Texas State going on the road today. UCLA is a powerhouse running team, but their star halfback is out for two weeks. He has an abdominal strain, so we'll see if that changes their game plan at all. But here come the Bruins. I always did kind of like their jersey combinations. I know a lot of people dislike them, but it is what it is. But nonetheless, a big Pac-12 matchup today. We need to win this if we want to keep our hopes of a Pac-12 title alive. That brings us up here, UCLA Stadium. I'm sure it's got an official name here in the palm trees of California. There were seventh ranked Texas State Bobcats and Coach Conquest come into town to take on the Bruins. The Bruins. They won the toss, they defer, so we'll take the ball here. Chuck Denman back, ready to receive. He's going to bring it out. And Denman gets depleted. Not a good decision there, but here comes Brian Jones out to lead the team. It's been a very weird season here. Wow, the UCLA fans are already ready to go. First play from scrimmage, it's gonna be a handoff to Thomas. Darren Thomas will pick up six yards. Good push on the right side there. Small section of Bobcat faithful up there in the crowd. You gotta love it. And Thomas is hit from behind, but he'll get positive yardage, but that's gonna make it third and short. Third and three. They opt to pass it, and there's Burnett, and Sean Burnett is going to push through, pick up the first down. You love to see the senior Sean Burnett from Crystal, Minnesota, get into the game early. First down again. Looks like they're going to hand it off, and there's Thomas. Thomas goes through the hole. He'll pick up five. So good offensive movement here today. 63 needed another block there. He missed the guy coming over. Brown, Denman, McTaggart to the left, Burnett to the right, Thomas in the backfield with Jones. And they're going to dump it. He needs a block, and Thomas gets one, but he's going to be a yard short. Call it a gain of four yards. A little screenplay there. Good blocking. Oh, 64 there, missing. So 64, that's Kyle Brown. He's a senior. He shouldn't do that. Proud. They loaded up that one side. We're going to send Lee over. We need a good block, and Thomas gets brought down, and he's going to lose to UCLA's defense holds. So the drive comes to a standstill. Pickens out the punt, and he'll put them near the 15. So not the offensive start you wanted. It was a very run-heavy first series. Let's see what UCLA comes out here and does now. They're going to run. And he's going to get through. T.J. Manning missed a tackle. That's nine yards by Nathan Evans, the backup halfback for the Bruins. They go hurry up offense. This is always fun to edit. And they're going to get him from behind, but he will get the first down. First and 10 will do it again. He's going to throw it. Oh, what a throw. Oh, what a tackle there. Big tackle by Terrell Schneider. That's 20 yards. Seems like the Bobcats are always playing from behind on defense in the first couple of series. And he hits his receiver in the back of the head there. Another run play. He's got some room and Evans comes up and lays the hit on him. Get people around a little bit. Third and six, would love to get a stop here. And the blitz was coming. Fritz, and Fritz will knock it down. Fourth down, the senior Brandon Fritz. So both offenses come out and struggle here. 
This noon game, maybe they're not woke up yet. That is off the side of his foot. First and 10. Kyle's going to go in motion. It's another handoff to Thomas. Thomas drops the shoulder, pushes down. He'll pick up seven yards. Jones back in the shotgun. Jones just going to sling this one down the field. Brown's there, and it's picked off. Oh, a rare interception. Drew Jordan, the freshman, comes down with it. So it'll go back to the Bruins here. Not the start you wanted to see here. Oh, and there's a sack on the quarterback. It's a seven yard loss. TJ Manning, the middle linebacker, blitzing through and taking out his rage on the Bruin quarterback. Second and 17 now. Gonna run up the middle. He's got a big hole. Lumpkin, oh, Lumpkin misplayed that one and that may be a touchdown. And he trips up TJ Manning in UCLA. Big run by the backup halfback. We knew they had a running attack and they showcase it here in the first quarter. Terrible, terrible. He took out two of our defenders trying to chase him down. And a horrible start here for the Bobcats on the road. They're down seven, nothing. And UCLA and the fan base has to be happy about this. Doug Denman, definitely gonna bring this one out. They'll turn the corner, flag on the play. Oh man, that's gonna back us up. A terrible ref ball call if I've ever seen one. The Bobcats offense does not look like it's made the trip here to California. Thomas, the bulk of the offense today. Second and six. Oh, oh, come on. Pass interference. He hit him before he didn't even get a chance. So third and long. Third and six. And that one's almost picked off. The secondary of UCLA is just all over Brian Jones today. What a hit. Our defense is definitely going to have to come out and play now. Go back to the first defense we used in the game. We changed up on that last play and they scored on us big. There we go. Good loss of one yard. Got to contain Evans. Don't want him to get any more points on the board. Short pass, Daryl Lumpkins there. Otis, what a name. Otis Montgomery on the reception there. So third and five. Come on, big stop here, D. They're going to hand it off, and we've got him. They'll pull him down. And that'll make it fourth and six. Caleb Benson on the tackle there. Just grabbed a hold of him and pulled him straight down. So under a minute to go here in the first quarter. And Texas State hopefully drawing up something there on the sideline to get them going. Matt Nelson, the OC. Good block there. Good block. Good spin. Chuck Denman. He'll get 13 yards. UCLA defense playing amazing today. They fake the handoff. And Jones is going to get sacked eight yards. And the O-line, who was doing so well at the start, starting to struggle now. First quarter trickling down here. And he's going to go deep again. And oh, it's going to offer Nick. Gets the catch. 58-yard strike. And that's what we like to see to end the first quarter. Bobcats. Trailing 7 nothing here, but after that strike, they are in striking distance. Brian Jones connects to the senior. First and 10, we start the second quarter here. And they're going to go back to the run game, and it is knocked down. Thomas will lose three. Second and 13. Just a short little throw. There's Norton, of all people. 
Demar Norton, a freshman out of Redwood City, California. A rare catch for him, but it is good, and that make it third and five. Lots of distractors out on the field right now. Oh, and he's hit, and they may have to settle for a field goal here. The one big stripe play, and then UCLA holds stout. David Carter's field goal is good. It's going to be 7-3 here in the second quarter. USC in a close one with Georgia State. Would love to see them drop another. Big boot here. He's got a lot of room over there, and they'll finally bring him down, but a big game by Willie Parker. Like, they're going to go back to their run. And TJ Manning is back there, and that's a tackle for a loss of one. And the quarterback fakes it. Oh, and he's got a wide open Bridges. Oh, and they got us good there. A long developing play. You're a Bobcat fan. You've got to be concerned right now. UCLA has drawn up the perfect thing, and oh, we'll go back and get him there. A three yard loss. They are really shortening the game, though, with all this running. Go four receivers out. Oh my God, Fritz, you should have jumped that line. Good hit though, but he should have jumped that for the pick six. This is important. We need to stop him here. We don't want to let the game get any out of hand. He's got all day to throw in a wide open. And that is a touchdown to George Sutton. And the Bruins shocking the seventh ranked Texas State Bobcats here today. That was Terrell Schneider on the coverage. We praised him earlier, and then that happens. The Bruins starts to do push ups. We definitely need to get some points on the board here before halftime. UCLA gets the ball after the break. It's like Harris going to bring this one out. Phil Harris. Phil Harris, good cut there. Phil Harris up past the 30. First and 10. And that's a little dump pass. Almost picked off. The pressure was coming. Second and 10 now. Nobody out there. Nobody. What is even going on today? Third and 14. This is a downright embarrassing right now. Third and 14, they fake the handoff. And he's going to deliver that one and almost picked off again. Just the timing is not there today for Brian Jones. Maybe his worst stat line in college. And they're once again going to punt it off. If UCLA scores here, this could spell disaster. Pushing the back, no call. We'll pull him down on the 45. Offense saying, let's make him cry all the way back home. Come on, guys. Come on. Got to make a tackle. Another first down run. They're up the midfield. I think we're going to have to make some big halftime adjustments defensively. Ooh. Oh, my God. Mills, thank the heavens he held on to him there. Jeff Mills, the junior out of Mansfield, Texas. Go second down. Blitzer coming, hit him. Fritz pulls him down, but that's a gain of four. Third and six. Again, we got to stop him here. Oh, and they're going to get the first down. Shoot. We played two super competitive games the last two weeks. And now we come into UCLA and we're flat like this. I don't know if the teams just wore out or if UCLA just paid attention to us. There's another first down. They put points on the board here. It's going to be 21 to set three. All right, we're going to adjust the defense here. Try to 3-3-5. I don't know if it'll do anything. And it will a little bit. Manning is freed up some. We're hoping that happens a little bit more. And we're going to get the quarterback on that one. So, two big losses. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. 
Caleb Evans gets the tackle for loss. No sack on that one. Third and long here. Oh, and he got the first down. Defense held so well. And then they give it up right there. Snyder cannot bring him down. Finally does, but seven yards later. And the quarterback's going to keep it, and we'll pull him down. Third down. Need to get a different off defense out here. Press up on him. Come on. Come on, we got to stop him here. No, he dropped it. <laughs> Luck be a lady tonight. Honestly, if I was them, I may debate going for it here and make us go the length of the field. Seventeen to three with a minute something till half. Georgia State has taken the lead against UC USC. Norton back. We just got anybody back here doing the uh, returns. So a minute thirty essentially left. Let's see if Brian Jones can get out of his slump. All three timeouts. And he'll hit Burnett, and Burnett is through, and that's a big gain of 17 yards. And at 16, they fake the handoff. He's going to hit Johnny Walker, and Johnny Walker comes down with it. Minute to go. And there's a Chuck, and Chuck Dinman, Chuck Dinman slips two tackles, 15 yards. Rush up to the line. They're going to run up the middle. And there's Thomas. And Thomas is going to fool them. 42 seconds left. Another first down. They fake the handoff. Jones going deep. And it's almost picked off. But that will stop the clock. 27 seconds left. They're not quite in field goal range yet. And he's going to try to drop that in there. And it's just knocked down. Third down. Third and 10, 22 seconds left. Quick throw, he hits Norton up the middle. Norton, Norton's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. Jamar Norton, out of nowhere, the freshman's been putting in the work, scores, and is going to make it a one touchdown game with 17 seconds left, right before halftime. So Brian Jones takes over on that drive and Texas State looks a little bit better. And that will take us to halftime. Texas State holding on on live support. They are down 17 to 10 to the Bruins of UCLA here on the road. Start the second half here. The Bobcats will kick it off. David Carter to get us started. A little life there in Texas State. Parker will bring this one out. We've got to find a way to slow down the run game of UCLA if we want to turn this one around. We'll come out and play a nickel defense. We'll see if this can help. It should give us some more bodies. Then again, it doesn't matter if Fritz gets burned on the outside. Man coverage, and he's just left in the dust. Of course they'd come out throwing it. They ran the whole first half. Why wouldn't they come out and just throw us an uppercut? Oh, Lumpkin. Oh, we just got made looking silly. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Wake up. One big run. One big run. One big pass. One big run. We are just... And he's going to just waltz in, and UCLA has come out and roundhouse kicked us right in the jaw. Evans changes Wikipedia page. He owns the Bobcats today. Three guys, and he's still in. UCLA faithful, very excited right now. I would be too. We get to go out and have a nice dinner if things hold this way. We knew this Bobcat team didn't have the spark that they had last year. I didn't think it would be like this. Harris. Harris is slower coming out. I'm not sure. And Harris is going to get up. Good run. Big run backs by Phil Harris today, though. I'm not sure why he's back there in some cases. The crowd get really into this. 
Oh, come on! He tackled him before the ball even got there. We are not getting any calls here on the road. They get in 10. Jones going to heave that one, and he's got Brown. Daryl Brown is brought down at the 10. 57 more yards. We go over the top once again. Brian Jones doing everything he can. He has to just let it go right before. He's took some big hits today. And Texas stays still on life support. First and 10. Look in the run. Thomas tried to cut. He'll get three yards. Second and seven. And he throws that one in the traffic. Tried to force it. Third and seven. Need a touchdown here. Third and seven. He just slings that one. <gasps> They're saying he didn't get his foot down. Are you serious? As much as I hate to say this, we have to score here. Have to go for it. Three points is not going to matter. And we're going to get in there, Sean Burnett. There we go. We had to have that one. Coach Conquest goes for it. The senior pulls it down for six. The defense has got to come out and perform here. We've got to stop UCLA's run game. Georgia State extends their lead over USC. Oh, my Lord. Parker's going to kneel down. What do we come out? What do we even try here? My Lord. They're going to run, and we're back there. TJ Manning will knock him down. Two-yard gain. And he's going to run up the middle again. Oh, he fumbled it. And somehow the wide receiver instantly picks it up. They've got a Fritz as well. Oh, come on. What kind of luck is that? Pop the ball loose. And it immediately just lands in the hands. He didn't, it didn't even hit the ground. He just caught it. Some days the bounces just don't go your way. Or in this case, it didn't even bounce. Oh my God, what a collision. Anthony White out of Dallas. He just popped him into the Pacific Ocean. Look at him 14. They sent four receivers out. We tried to get to him and oh my God, what a play. Daryl Lumpkin was out there, but the safety just didn't get in the position quick enough and they just floated in there. First down, I've tried nothing. I'm all out of ideas. Come on, boys. I've honestly went through almost every defense and nothing is working. Second and one, I've tried blitzing. I've tried not blitzing. I've tried zone. I've tried man. Fritz, oh, are you kidding me? went up for it and the guy that's the same person I think no he caught it off of Fritz's knockdown how is this even possible this is the worst circumstances we've ever had in a football game we are down 31-17 to UCLA now this one's really deep we're still going to come out He stayed up, 18 yards. Coach Conquest trying to rally the troops. Look at the yardage we give up today, 400 yards, and we're only in the third quarter. Honestly, besides some big stripes down the field, Thomas ate up in the backfield. He's going to lose a yard. But as I was saying, besides a couple big shots, we have just not clicked today. Thomas, he'll get some yardage there. Five yards, third and six still. Third and six. And they'll hit Brown. They should give him the first down, and they will. Daryl Brown getting involved again. 2.51 left in the third quarter. First and 10. Ah, slides over. Looking for a run. Thomas tried to follow the blockers. He'll get three yards doing so. 
Second and seven. Burnett slides over. Oh, Johnny Walker, what are you doing? Johnny Walker's always supposed to cut to the middle, and he didn't. He ran the wrong route. Could get a home run pass here. We'll have to see. We'll take the short one. Chuck Denman. Chuck Denman's got blocks. Chuck Denman. Chuck Denman down the sideline. Chuck Denman's going to put seven more on the board. What a play by Chuck Denman. 77 yards to the house, and Texas State strikes again. Just a nice little route, and they didn't cover him. And then great blocking up the field by Burnett. And he was gone. Also good blocking back there by uh, Willie McTaggart. So again, the, the offense has woke up. The defense has got to come out and play. I may actually come out in the dime defense and see. Get some speed on the field. But we've surely got to get a bounce to go our way. They have got every... Off the fumble, off the off the knockdown in the end zone. We've just got to get something to go our way, right? Let's get some Frank Rankin action over here on the edge. There we go. Two yards. Big hit by Frank Rankin. That's a gain of two on the floor. I feel like Frank Rankin's been with the team for eight years. We almost got to him. Oh, there's two guys out there. Somebody, Milton, Fritz, somebody come down there. It's Schneider out there. Third and eight. Come on. Let's hold him. Let's hold him. Oh, we need it. We got to get the ball back. We could turn the, the mojo of this game, but they burn us on third down all day. And we're through it. We're going to get to him. Yes. Big sack there. Anthony Morris. Oh, the junior corner blitzing on the play. That's why I wanted the speed on the field, and it finally pays off. Doug Denman. Come on. How did how does that block not like happen there? First and ten, a minute to go in the third. Jones in trouble. Jones gonna be sacked. Loss of nine. Nothing open there. Second and 19. Let's fake the handoff. And there's a quick throw. Sean Burnett will pick it up. They pick up 10. So third and the manageable nine. Who do you go to here? And they hit Chuck Denman and he gets it for the first down, 17 yards. Great route there, great throw by Jones. 15 seconds left in the third. Bach ticking down. And Thomas up the middle and that'll be the final play of the third quarter. Texas State pushing here. They are down seven. Ranked seventh in the country. And we go to the final quarter of play. Second and three. We start the fourth quarter here. They're going to go try to go on the round, and Thomas just couldn't turn. He'll get a yard. It's third and two, though. Oh, what a cheap shot by UCLA there. They come out with what looks like a goal line. Definitely want to push this line forward. And Thomas will come over and get the first down. Definitely want to control. First and 10. Break the handoff. And that was a terrible throw. Don't know why Jones decided to go for him. That was almost a bad mistake. Second and 10. Did lots of options here. Quick throw, hits Willie McTaggart. Willie McTaggart stays up, and he'll get 18 yards. Willie McTaggart. We got lots of young receivers getting involved in the game today. Runs under center. They're going to hand it off. There's Thomas again up the middle. Thomas, tough run, Thomas. He almost gets the first down. And inches and Thomas is in there and we are an extra point away from having a tie ball game. Texas State has battled back. Carter out. Extra point is through. We are all tied up here in California. USC has pulled it within three. 6-16 to go. Insert Bernie Sanders meme. I am once again calling upon the defense. To donate some defensive stops. 5.36 left in the game. 
And it's a run up the middle of DJ Manning, I think, was there on the stop. No. Yes. They stay in the hurry up. Let's go over here to Caleb Benson. We'll get him to cause trouble on this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did he get the catch? He did. Andy Larkin brings it down. First and 10. Probably should have not chased after that tight end there. We bring the house, we hit him, and he's gonna drop the ball. Evans was the intended receiver on the play. Let's go with a little different look here just to confuse him. It didn't matter. Montgomery wide open out there. Otis again hits us. First and ten. Big hit from Manning. He'll get three yards though. We got it. We gotta stop. Oh god. I'm going to be offsides probably. Nope. The the play I didn't call. Get him. Come on. Ta oh, my God. What an Oh, my Lord. We're going to decline it. It doesn't matter. It said three receivers to the right. They're going to run it, though, aren't they? Yes, we're there. Come on. Get the fumble. Force the fumble. We can hold him to a field goal here. We can hold him to a field goal. did it again I did it again I even knew the play and I screwed it up this is the game right here I think yes yes what a hit oh my god I think that's Anthony White they have to take the field goal with 348 left in the game don't jump please please don't jump don't jump it is three points. Holy cow. Georgia State upsets USC. Oh, my Lord. Oh, 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 that helps us. Helps us tremendously, but we've got to win our game. 34-31, 342 left. All the time in the world to march down the field. A touchdown could win it, or we can kick a field goal. Either one. We just got to play our game. First and 10. We're going to hand it to Thomas. Thomas up the middle. He'll get six. Clock running. Took another run to Thomas. Thomas gets hit in the backfield. He'll lose a yard. So third and five. UCLA trying to keep the hype train going. We need a hero again. There he is. Daryl Brown, first down on the slant. They fake the handoff. And he'll hit Sean Burnett. Burnett drops it, hit as he caught it, second down. I don't know why I call this. I don't know why I call this. Nope, he's... Oh, yeah, of course our running back cannot outrun a lineman. Okay, third down and 13. We're in fourth down territory, so we don't have to get it all here. Sean Burnett, it's going to be fourth and three. We have to go for it. This is really important here. Oh, no, he dropped it. Chuck Dinman. Oh, there's a flag. No, no, the double whammy. No, come on. There's no way we held in that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because... They, they get him, Chuck Conquest. There is no way we held in that short of time. That is probably your game. Unless we can stop him here. We'll call timeouts. We still, they'll still get a field goal. Maybe, hopefully. We gotta stop the run, though. Hey, guess what we didn't do? You blew it! We didn't stop the run. GG's all around. UCLA just... They punched us in the mouth all game long, and our defense just... How many, how many bounces did they get? Two big plays I could think of. The fumble where the receiver just caught it before it hit the ground. That was a big turn of events. 
and then Fritz knocking the ball down in in their their receiver's hand in the end zone. That that was a big difference. If we could just if I just knew how to recruit corners and safeties who could intercept the ball. Brian Jones, 357 yards. The rest of the team at 62. Oof. So UCLA, big upset today, but not the biggest. I'd say the Georgia State game is the biggest. That's really going to hurt us. Yeah, definitely no national championship this year for the Bobcats. We thought this may be the last season for them, and this game may solidify that. Texas State falls here on the road to the unranked. UCLA Bruins, 34-31. As always, we'll check out the player stats. Brian Jones started off awful, but he ended the game with a great stat line. 169.4, 20 for 35. That's 57%. 374 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. I mean, they were beating him up all day. We've got two sacks here. I would love to see how many pressures he had or rushes. Just He was obliterated. Darren Thomas, 62 yards, one touchdown, but his longest run was 10 yards. I mean, we just, he just cannot break out. He, he's, the, he's a weak link in our offense. Even at 98 overall, he does not play like it. Sean Burnett, the senior, did amazing today. Six catches, 118 yards. Chuck Denman, three catches, 109 yards. Touchdowns for the senior Burnett. Uh, Chuck Denman, another senior with a touchdown. And then Jamar Norton, the freshman out of Redwood City, gets a touchdown as well. Daryl Brown, three catches for 74. I mean, we just, our receivers showed up when they needed to. It just was not enough. The defense didn't do their job. Ten tackles by TJ Manning. He got banged up a little bit in the game. One sack, it looks like, for him. And then another one for Anthony Morris. But just again, just no interceptions. I love that Fritz gets a pass deflection, but it was actually a touchdown. And uh, Anthony White also caused the fumble, but we just didn't recover it. Bill Harris, so slow on the kick return, 81 overall, but yet he had 103 yards on uh, four returns. We gave up 227 rushing yards and 279 passing yards. That's probably the most rushing yards we've given up in every season, maybe besides the first one for Coach Conquest. Just, again, UCLA controlled the game. They deserved the win. So close, the upset-minded Bruins pull out stunning victory over Texas State. I'm going to go ahead and fast-forward it to the next week. I just want to see how far we drop down the polls, and the, U the USC thing intrigues me. Returning home, Texas State returns home to host Arizona after losing at UCLA. We dropped down the number 16 in the country. I did see in recruiting that we picked up a wide receiver. So we'll go through here and see our, de our defensive coordinator. We got a lot of visitors this week. Our defensive coordinator also looks like that uh, he leveled up. We've been locked out by a number of uh, people. That's fine, though. Lance Dawson, 77 overall. The number one wide receiver in the land. Six foot, 214, has signed with us. Holy cow, if that doesn't get you excited. Definitely need that. 93 speed, 90 acceleration, 85 jumping. Catching is only 75, though. Hopefully you can develop that. 87 route running. Love to see that. That teams up with Jesse Lewis. So, I mean, that's uh, interesting. We've still got a lot of work to do on some of these other players. I don't think anybody else is ready to visit, or they already have. I really wanted Reggie Clark. I don't know if we're going to be able to take him. But looking at all these, Jesse Johnson almost ready to visit. Thousand. That's that's good to hear. I'd love to lock, lock out another tackle. We need some more uh, line fillers because we're just, our our line offensively needs help with the run. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's ready to visit. We've got 450 points. I'm not sure who I'll throw that at. Start at the top and see. Reggie Clark. I mean, it's just going to come down. He's the number one offensive linebacker. Our outside linebacker, excuse me. I don't know if we can beat Miami for that. He is from Florida. I mean, that's hard. We are very close on this middle linebacker. Either one of those two would be great. David Jackson, looks like we may end up with him. He's the number two overall quarterback. Number one athlete, really liking us right now. The number 23 athlete, LSU looks like they're taking the commanding lead on him. Wesley Harvey would love to get him. He's the number two tackle. Again, we need linemen. 
So I'm going to move him up a couple spots. This guard here, we've got the lead on him as well. Marcus Bush, that's the one we just looked at. Uh, another tackle here. I may actually... We're doing well on some of these other ones. That t other tackle... I'm going to go ahead and max out the points on him. I'd love to have that. If we can, like, overhaul that offensive line, we could be very dominant. Here's a center. I'm going to throw points into him. No, oh, Chris Bass. Uh, I don't know. I would, I would love to have some players that could catch the ball, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. We'll leave it at that. Again, get some offensive line, and we've got Zach, uh, Zach Patrick, not Zach Miller, excuse me. And uh, he'll be coming on down the pipeline, so hopefully. Let's go look at the defensive coordinator and see what we can upgrade on him. Could he really use those uh, upgrades last game? So what can we throw on him? Uh, defense causes fits with a pass rush. Uh, what is this? Ball burglary. Plus two catch. Oh, wow. We could have really used that one. Tackling. Yeah, that, that sucked too. Block shedding was not our problem. We've got all the shutdowns. Catching traffic. Actually, yeah, I want this one. We want more points in the ball burglar. So maybe they can get some interceptions. Again, it's a little too late. But you've got to do with what you do. I mean, it's I can't go back in time and change it. Heart stopper. Upset-minded Panthers pull out stunning victory over USC. They drop down to 18. I'm interested to see this top 25 poll here. The number one team in the country is Notre Dame who we defeated for the national championship last year, so maybe they'll have a chance. And then a familiar Ohio State, Michigan, they have to play each other at some point. Florida lurking. Minnesota, shocking, out of the Big Ten. There's Miami. Oregon, Michigan State, Virginia Tech, and West Virginia round out your top ten. Yeah, that really hurt us losing that game. Down the 16th, USC drops the 18th. Just uh, USC's back got... Arizona State this week, who is uh, 12th. So just tough games. We wanted a tougher conference, and we are getting a tougher conference. So you just have to live at. Let's check out the uh, conference standings. I want to see how much that changed. With both of us losing, no game, no ground was probably lost. Yeah, we're both five and two, but we're two and two in the conference, which is pathetic. That was a non-conference loss. It hurts them nationally, but as for the conference itself. It doesn't really help us going after. We are the sixth best team right now, conference-wise. Oregon State undefeated. Uh, Cal has one loss in Washington and Washington State, all ahead of us. Just a yeah, we're zero and two in our own division. That is just pathetic. We just did not show up. We must have hit them on a down year last year. Everything just clicked right for us, and this year it's just not. You can see our points against one hundred and thirty. We've given up a lot of points this season. With that all said, I think that brings it into our episode. It's good to be back. Again, I want to apologize to those of you who watched this series. My computer went on the fritz. Uh, no cornerback pun intended. And I just, it took me a while to actually wait for some Black Friday deals and stuff to kick in. So I had to, I had, my computer was originally for 2012. And I didn't buy anything like top of the line this time around. Uh, I just, I had to get what I could afford. And it's obviously the worst time of the year for that and everything. So I uh, did the best I can, but hopefully I can keep bringing you all some quality Bobcat action. So don't forget to leave a like down below and uh, leave me some comments of encouragement. Let's see what you think about Texas State this season. I know it's been a rough one, already two losses. That's just, it's rough. The Pac-12 is loaded this season and uh, we're just going to have to really push and strive to try to finish out strong. We got a lot of games left. I think five. And we'll just have to see what kind of bowl game we end up with. It's obviously not going to be a national championship year. Two losses definitely eliminates us from that. But you just keep striving. Coach Conquest has no quit in him, and neither do the Bobcats. But as always, thanks for watching. Uh, God bless, and don't forget to make good decisions out there. Special thanks to these Patreon supporters. If they were an electric toothbrush, I'd turn them on and put them in my mouth. Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Absher, Party Commissar, The Least Expected, Azur Rain, Curtius, and James Matisse.